Hi, Scissor here with another video um, around Heist League. This time we're actually just going to talk a little bit about some crafting tools. I want to talk to you guys about Craft of Exile and also PWDB and how they can be like very helpful in figuring out how to craft things, how realistic it is, and uh, yeah, just to give you guys like the best odds of crafting. So this is Craft of Exile. It can be very, very useful for a lot of things. I'm just going to start with showing you an example. Up here, we are like choosing the base. So we've uh, clicked one handed weapon and convoking one. Um, and then you can choose like the crafting method, for example. The thing that I'm going to show now, it doesn't require influence. And the method is fossils. If I do want influence, for example, it'll it'll like click here, add this, add this mod, right? And then it'll add shaper. But uh, so let's say for example, now we do minion skills and we'll do plus one. This is a very common one that a lot of people want to craft. Sometimes what I'll do as well in Soul Cell Phone, where I don't have access to four resonators at all, I'll I'll click three because realistically I'm never going to be crafting with four. But what I'm about to show you is uh, a case of like this being a very very easy craft, surprisingly, uh, or relatively easy. So then we click on Compute Best Selection, and uh, depending on the item, normally it's between like three and six hundred combinations. For this, it is a lot more, so it can take a little bit of time to calculate. This is one of the cases where um, fossils are like insanely powerful still um, and can make this like very, very easy to get. So after this, after we've done the fossils here, we are going to look at the same alterations and uh, try to get a, like an idea of how much money we're saving, like how much money it actually costs. You can see that it's only 12 tries on average to use corroded, jagged, metallic and shuddering. Now, this is still pretty expensive. It's still like, you see the cost efficiency here on the right, it's 800. Because this this is both two rare things. This is a weight of 50 and this is a weight of 125. And uh, the weight is how likely it is compared to the others. Like to all the other rolls. Only 12 tries to get it, which is great. And there are several things like this that we can figure out. But now, let's maybe look at the same with alterations. You can see the the chance of getting like you know actually alt regaling first like first off either of these are fairly rare 750 and 1.5k or something and then alt regaling not very realistic it's really not very realistic and uh we can also like compare it to just like chaos spamming if you put it up to tries 800 you see that is a confidence that like the 95 percent chance that you should get it within 800 um you can see, in a case like this, alt regaling is very bad. Chaos spamming is surprisingly good, but fossil crafting is like 1 in 12 tries. Um, it's actually very, very good. And uh, something that's very special about this, the way it works, is that because of the, the, the way that fossils work with locking out things, like for example, there will there'll be no elemental, no physical mods, stuff like that, right? So what's really, really special about like the fossil crafting here is that obviously on an item we have six affixes. Um, the three suffixes aren't important. We don't care about these at all, but they will most likely fill those up. We always have four stats when you're either chaosing or fossils or something like that. It can sometimes look like three because of hybrid mods, uh, which I'm not going to cover here, but uh, that's not important. But at least you always have four stats. And the fourth stat is always minion damage, I believe. And then uh, as a prefix, that's the only like prefix. And I think there's only two more that are left over. And that is the uh, minion damage and spell skills. So that means if you if you do get a fifth affix, it is going to be one of them. And if you get six, it's both. That's why these fossils have such a high chance. Because it's basically, well, if your weapon rolls with six stats, you have the wand. Then you do need to use an annulment to try to get a suffix open because most people want, in this case, like a uh, trigger socketed spells if you've used a skill recently. Like that's very popular on these. Um, but let's look at some other things as well. So we'll, we'll click on the reset. And now let's look at body armor. It doesn't really matter for this what we're doing. So just strength body armor. And uh, we'll, we'll use fossils again. Say we want to do crusader. Uh, as a prefix and we want to see about how to craft the explosion mod and what's the best way of getting that Well, we'll look for four anyway, but we could like change that as well So the only thing I care about is the enemies explode, but you could like you could add life as well But if you're specifically asking for one mod, it'll give you like this is the biggest Chance to get this but it might like block out like maybe it'll block out life 
maybe dense fossils are involved, right? Which is the case in this one. So for example, this now it can't hit life. It's suggesting we use corroded, dense, jagged, and pristine. And in 10 tries, um, we should have a pretty good chance here. Um, for raw cost efficiency, because prime resonators are so expensive, um, it's going to give us dense, jagged, and pristine. And that's going to cost us around 357 chaos at current market values. The reason they're using dense and pristine is because it's using, um, it's canceling out all the energy shield prefixes or armor prefixes, and it's canceling out all the life ones. So the dense is canceling life, pristine is canceling all the defense ones. Um, and by doing that, you're basically limiting how many prefixes it is. So this is a great tool to like go through and look um, for what is like the, the best way of crafting. We're looking at chaos. Um, it's like 752. C will give you a 63% chance to get it. So this is some ideas of how at least I use Craft of Exile. And like I said, I very, very often uh, on Solo Safan will limit it to three resonators. Because even if there is, even if there is like combos with four, I just don't have prime resonators. You see here, like in 29 tries, you have a, uh, that's the average. So you could use a hundred still and not get it. It's PoE. It's all RNG. There's no like, it's not like we have a good chance here. But uh, at least until next league, um, when Harvest comes back in some shape, then we might have a better chance. Like there might be better ways of getting it then, but we don't know. So at least for now, Craft of Exile is your friend uh, in that regard. I want to talk a little bit about PeeweeDB as well, uh, and we'll link to both of these websites. Um, but it's important to know of this website's existence. Well, first of all, if you're new, it's a great thing to do to just browse through, right? And look at the different uh, base types because i know like when they were introduced and as a new player it's very confusing like wh why do you have all these like colored items you have some that have like um a galaxy background you have some that sparkle you have some that have like tentacles around them what do they do so you can see at the top of the item that you have in game it'll it'll have like one of these icons it's like the all the all the different ones it's, it's shaper elder crusader redeemer hunter warlord then you have like special things that I can drop in Delve. The Delve ones, they're drop only. There's no way to craft these anymore. They've removed at least like 90 or 98% of them, whatever, uh, from fossils. Um, and if you find a Delve item, it can't craft. It doesn't have Delve as an influence. So say, for example, that you find um, an amulet that has 30% fire damage. If you Chaos Bomb this, you can never get that again as a prefix. I think that's important to mention. One of the number one things here, let's let's look at hunter amulets, right? We have amulets open right now. So if you find a hunter amulet, if it's item level 81, that means that it can't get plus one level of chaos skills. That's only from item level 82 and higher. Um, so it, it is very important to like look through these. Um, it also has a fossil calculator. Let's put on aberrant fossil that has more chaos mods. And then we see here that it gives the um, plus one chaos skills a weighting of 2,500. Now that actually makes it pretty likely to get it because if we look at like um resists the fact of hitting any fire resist on like say a chaos for example would be eight thousand. and then it's like that's because there's so many rolls so you technically have like the same chance of hitting high tier fire rest as low tier fire rest um but since there's so many we have an eight thousand fire rest roll this website is really really good for being able to check things like that like the item levels i would recommend using both this and craft of exile to um, learn a little bit more on items, maybe like discover like, hmm, where can I get dot multiplier and stuff like that and just have a gander at it. PoE is obviously a very, very in-depth game. It's not exactly handed to us on a silver platter. And if you do want to get into crafting, it, it sadly does involve getting like a little bit of research out of the way. But I wanted to like give a, give a TLDR on the websites that I'm using because they will help me like quite a lot. And I want to make sure that you guys have like some idea on how to use them and what I do with them. So I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the YouTube content that we're putting out. If you like the content, sub. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Try to die less than I do.